Hello everyone, we're back and we're going to be taking another look at Golftopia here. Specifically, some of the fine details that you might miss that are a little hidden. It wouldn't be a min-max game if we didn't let you absolutely customize everything. So let's take a look at some of that stuff right here. So, these bumpers actually have a couple of different sizes. So you can use a smaller one to kind of wedge it in between your structures or buildings. Or wherever you need it to be. So you can see that there's different sizes here. Uh, there's also the ability to control our bump force. So you can decide how strong this thing is. And there's some visual feedback here. So you see it's changed color. It's a lot stronger now. And this is helpful for whether or not you want these to, to really push your ball far along the ferry or just kind of nudge it back into place. There's also an attractiveness slider, so you, I'm going to turn these down to, to not being attractive at all. They're more support structures to try to keep the ball on the fairway. I don't really want the golfers to shoot for them. So this structure here, I do want the golfers to shoot for them, but they're kind of not wanting to because they're worried that their ball's going to end up in the sand trap. But I can actually just crank up the attractiveness and kind of override their better judgment. Now, of course, it's up to the player to place these logically in a way that makes sense. Your golfers won't like it if they're constantly in the sand trap and you won't be able to make too much money. And you do have some control over whether or not they even want to shoot through some of these things. So here we can see a pretty elaborate setup. I've spent quite a bit of time tuning each one of these devices and you can see that if you spend some time and methodically lay things out, you can set up some pretty amazing reactions here. That's not the only thing we let you fiddle with here, even these vending machines you can adjust when they're restocked, the lights you can adjust when they're recharged, or even when the plants are being watered. You don't have to do any of these things, they're relatively set up at a decent default value, but, but you do have the opportunity to min-max these things if you want. So early on in the game, you don't have access to the entire island, you have to buy these extra plots of land as you go, and they get pretty expensive. But if we look over here, we can see that we do have a bit of a weed problem that's outside of our property, and eventually it's going to puke out onto our property, and I want to kind of deal with this sooner rather than later. So these drone hubs actually have a relocatable work zone, so I can actually just put this thing over here, and the workers will prioritize that area before doing other tasks. So they'll still do other tasks if there's nothing to do here, but if there is something to do here, they're going to work on those tasks first. So you can see that this guy's coming over here, it's going to take him a little while to work his way in there because they do kill weeds on sight. And you can see another worker coming in to help out because there's quite a bit of work to do in there. And once they're done cleaning this area out, they'll go back to doing more global level tasks. You know, of course I can just relocate this at any time. Place it exactly where I want, clean up the areas I want. So one thing that I found odd when I was testing the game is some people really are off-put by how organic some of the tools are and they would rather make a board cube. So I've included some tools like being able to control the axis in which you paint. So if you want to make just a perfectly straight piece of fairway like this, all ugly like, you, you can do that if you really want to. You know, you can make nice straight paths like this if you wish. And all of the paintable tools, including the height tool, will allow you to do this so you can even use the flat tool and create a nice perfectly shaped wall here and keep your ball in the areas that you want okay so it was just a quick update today but one thing i wanted to announce is that the game will be coming out in early access on july 21st so that's less than two weeks so Call in sick, take a day off of work, polish up your clubs, tell your friends, call your caddy, guess up your cart, whatever you gotta do. I hope everybody enjoys the game and I am super stoked to hear what everybody has to say. Thank you very much.